What's up guys and welcome back to the life of Kevin and a very special episode at that because this is going to be uncharted territory for The Sims 4. This is something that I didn't even think existed and it started last episode by complete fluke. So let me explain. I'm going to give you guys a little bit of genealogy when it comes to The Sims 4. So in The Sims 4, when a male becomes abducted, he gets impregnated by senior pollination technician number three and there was a chance that he will be acquaintances with her. So Kevin actually is acquaintances with her. You can see here that he does know who she is, but she doesn't actually exist. She doesn't exist in the game. You can't invite her over if I click on her. She doesn't give you the option to invite over like a normal sim. You can't find her in the world. She isn't in the neighborhood. She isn't even an unplayed household. For all intents and purposes, she doesn't exist. So last episode, when she showed up to Kevin's party, somehow... I did not expect that to happen. I've looked all over the internet for a way to find her, and as far as I can tell, nobody has actually been able to interact with a pollination technician before. That's why I had to create the evil alien queen to be Barbie's mother in the first place, because I couldn't actually find her. But when you click on Barbie, and you go to her actual genealogy, you can see that that is her biological mother. She doesn't have the ghost queen. because She would be dead. She would be a ghost in the picture with the long hair. It is this woman. So today, because I can't actually invite her over, we still can't interact with her. But we found out that you can trick her to show up to parties. I'm going to try to host a dinner party. So we're going to have something a little bit more quiet, a little bit more um, cozy. And we're going to invite over a couple of aliens and Barbie's biological mother. And then Barbie should get to meet her actual mom, which is going to be really interesting. Look, I said, I didn't even think this was possible. So I'm really excited to see what she's like, what it's all about. So we're going to have Barbie host a dinner party. If that's possible, Barbie, where are you? you, you you're, you're over here? Nope, you're over here. Why did it bring me over there? Okay, we are going to plan a social event. Easy, right? All you have to do is call up your alien mom after meeting her in a bar, and uh, she'll drop by. We are going to have a dinner party. I think we've had a dinner party before, but we haven't had many. Uh, we're going to have Barbie host it. And for the guests, we'll invite the whole... Ooh, no, we'll invite the family. And we'll invite some aliens. So we got to invite her mom. We'll invite Haley. Um, do we know any guy aliens? That would be helpful. Elizabeth, no. We want to keep the ratio all right. There's going to be a lot of girls at this party because the family is mostly girls as well. So a guy alien wouldn't go stray. Here we go. Kirk Henley. He's purple. That's okay, right? I don't think there's um very much racism among the aliens. I think the purple and the blue and the green, they're probably all right with each other, right? We want to have a caterer. Uh, let's get Vivian again. Like I said, she's always done a bang-up job for us, so we might as well. And then other than that, I think we're good. I'm actually a little nervous to see if this is going to work. I don't know if she's going to show up or not. And ooh, we can go somewhere else. The Spencer Kim Lewis residence in Cypress Terrace. I've never been there. I don't think it's really worth risking it. So we are going to host it here. Okay, dinner party. I'm going to have the goals behind my head, but I don't think that really matters. Tommy. Tommy, what are you? What are you wearing, Tommy? Barbie, you look awesome. I don't think we've seen that on her before. You look great. Tommy, you can't embarrass it. Kevin, guys, half of you, all the girls decided, okay, this is important. We're going to dress normal. And Kevin is like, oh my God, an excuse to dress as Captain Bun-Bun. I can't wait. Put on something normal. There we go. That's better. Okay. I think everybody's nice and sorted out. So Kevin has discovered that Kirk is an alien. This guy seemed perfect. Did it? Did it really? Ooh, I forgot. So for a dinner party, guys, I know you're discovering they're all aliens. You're all just like Nancy Drews of the Sim world. Um, we probably need more tables, don't we? More chairs, stuff like that. A dinner party, people need to sit down. Uh, excuse me there, guys. If I move this over, are you all going to lose it? Eh, you're all right. Okay. That looks a little bit better, right? Now we can actually have everybody sit down. Did I break anything? You're all, you're all operating and stuff like that. Vivian, get to work. Jesus, we don't have any food. All right. So, that's that's her mom, I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah, senior pollination technician number three. Cool, she actually showed up. She has some giant tits. Holy crap. <laughs> okay, Barbie, well we might as well um introduce ourselves. Let's go talk to her. Oh, they're doing they're doing alien stuff. That, that looks like alien things. Cool. This is going really well. Oh, I wish we could all sit down to dinner though. I don't know how that works. Can I've never... Is there a way to call to meal, grab a serving? Did you make stuff? 
Okay, let's just call to Mio. Maybe that'll work. That kind of worked. They're having they're having a little bit of issues trying to figure out how to get between each other. <laughs> Emma, why are you working out in the middle of a party? You're supposed to be dressed all nice, and you go outside. Uh, party party one. I'm pretty sure party two is a Halloween costume. That would be bad. There we go. Okay, that's better. Yeah, the aliens are actually really nice. Some people think that all of the aliens are evil because of the alien invasion. That was just like a faction of aliens. That's like saying if people do bad things, then all people are evil. That's not how it works. So the aliens are actually quite nice. You know what? I invited them over. They're uh, they're being very um, hospitable. You know what? They're, they're doing a great job. So this is going really, really well. Not quite sure why Barbie's baking a cake with her mom. Maybe that's like an alien tradition. But you know what she, uh, oh no, that's Apple. Apple is the baker. So I guess, whoa, whoa, what? Why is there an alien asleep on her floor? Nope, you're not asleep, are you? Nope, you're not asleep at all. What just happened? Why is there an alien dead in her? This is bad, this is bad. This can't go over well with alien relations. What the hell happened? Why is Kirk dead? Need to get everybody out of the way. Just all of my sims, everybody that I can control needs to move out of the way so that the Reaper can get in. We can still salvage this. Fortunately, Barbie and Grim, I think they have a bit of a thing, right? I think Barbie was kind of into him. So when he comes over here to reap our alien, we might be able to convince him not to. Maybe seduce him a little bit because we can't let this this can't be good for alien relations I, I don't think that this is gonna go well with Barbie's mom. Okay, so he he's gonna start Typing away. Okay seduce seduce Barbie use use your looks. You're quite the looker. Oh, I know Grim's Grim's a scary dude But you can do this where are they going? Where are you guys going? What do you, what do you say Grim? Hey, woo? Come on, do you like the looks? Come on, you don't, you don't, you don't want to take him. You don't want to ruin our party, right? Right? Did it, did it work? I honestly don't know. Kirk has been brought back to life, barbecues. What? I don't know what that said. He, he doesn't look like he's been brought back to life. He looks pretty dead. That's, he looks pretty dead. What are you doing, Grim? What you doing, Grim? That that doesn't look like death. Whoa! I've never seen this before. Yeah! All right. How did he die? What the hell happened? He he just was dead on the ground. I was making cake. Okay. Okay. Party salvaged. Actually, probably a little bit better because Grim's here now, right? Can we, can we um, interact with Grim a little bit? I think he's done his work. I think we need to give him a second. He, he can't be interacted with just yet. Maybe we can uh, get a little flirt on as well. Okay. I don't understand. There's nothing like nothing's broken, right? He didn't like step in a puddle of water next to something that was electrocuted or something like that. That was ridiculous. I didn't even see or hear anything. Barbie is very appreciative for what you did for her death. That was a really cool thing to do, man. Is it just me or is Grim putting on weight? I know I say that every episode, but I never think that Grim could do that. But everybody always comments saying that... Well then, I think we have a bit of a match going on here. Maybe we can get a little flirting. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Mom doesn't like him. I mean, I can imagine why. Him being the embodiment of death and all, but uh, you know, things seem to be going well. I can't believe that seriously happened. That's two firsts. I have never seen uh, that uh, senior pollination technician number three. I've never seen Grim uh, spare somebody. Good episode. <laughs> we should ask if you're single. Oh, no, no. We were asking if you were single. Hi, Grim. I have a feeling he's going to play hard to get. Well, Kirk, you're welcome, you idiot. I don't know how you died. You probably choked on your stupid sandwich or something, but now we need to go back to talking to your mom. Can we give her a hug? I don't know how... Whoa, what are you guys doing? What? <laughs> I love that Vivian is just standing out here like... What What the hell just happened? <laughs> oh, they're coming back! Really, guys? 
sure. Did did the alien death get you guys in the mood? <laughs> this game, man. I'm surprised there aren't any like biological interactions. Like there isn't something you can do only with your mom or only with your dad. Like we can ask about love life or for a large lo. Oh my god, I thought he had died again. I saw through the corner of my eye that he was on the ground. Kirk, get up, you idiot. You were trying to ruin everything. I only invited you because you were a guy. Okay, well, you know what? I think this this went pretty well. I think this went pretty well. I'm. Uh, we're gonna give her a hug, and then how is our relationship with mom doing? Not bad. Actually, we should introduce her to your real mom. Well... That's a, that's a really weird thing to say. I think Emma is Barbie's mom. I think that's safe to say. This is her biological mom. So Emma, who is now wearing Christmas clothes, Emma has changed like six times today. I don't understand. Come introduce yourself to um, Barbie's biological mom. Oh, oh, why? Why? I, I, this was supposed to be a funny... Oh, actually, you know what? She's probably not all that happy that she impregnated Kevin. I can see why you wouldn't like her, Emma. You know what? We'll, we'll let that fly. I think that's okay. You know what? I think I've had enough. They're kind of breaking all my stuff. It's really hard to get them all to sit down and eat. And Kevin is dressed like an astronaut. And Emma is dressed like it's Christmas. And I don't even know what's happening anymore. So at that, we're going to call this a party. <laughs> Now for the after party cleanup and repairing everything that's broken. Always seems to happen, but that's gonna be it for this episode of the life of Kevin, guys. And this was ridiculous. So many firsts happened in this episode that I'm really happy it turned out the way it did. You know what, we got to meet Barbie's biological mother. She seems relatively nice, as do the rest of the aliens. Somehow, Kirk randomly died, but we saved him, and Barbie might have gotten a bit of a love interest with the Grim Reaper. I don't quite know how that's gonna go. Like I said, he seems very physically and emotionally unavailable, but at the same time, I saw sparks there, so who knows? Thank you guys for much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. I don't know what's happening anymore. I'm- oh, I'm in the ground. I broke the game. I shouldn't have farted and laid down. <laughs> Mission complete! You've broken the game! I can't get up. Okay, there we go. That is the third time I've broken this game. Why won't you just give me what I need?